This is how to get the Scavenger Matron's head in Enshrouded, which you need to upgrade your Flame Altar to level 3. Once you've done this, you'll be able to pass through the level 3 Deadly Shroud, which is this red area of shroud on the map. It will then turn blue so you can pass through it. Now to get the Scavenger Matron's head, we need to defeat the boss. I'll be showing you the best method to do that for range builds and melee character builds. And also, if you feel like you don't have strong enough weaponry, I'll show you a way to get legendary weapons at the end of the video. But let's start with the location and how to get there. So the first thing you need to do is head up to the top of that tower in the distance, which is directly north on the map from your starter base. Just over here, past the broken bridge, you'll find the Ancient Spire, which is the Springland's fast travel point. Now, once you're on this fast travel point, if you hop up here, you can literally see the boss fight location from here. This is where we currently are at that Ancient Spire fast travel point. And what we're going to do is fly northeast past the flame shrine all the way over here to the hill of scavengers that is actually the boss location and what you can do when you get here is actually build another flame altar which you can fast travel to or spawn out if you die but anyway let's go ahead and fast travel northeast we're going to go ahead and glide this direction using the basic glider and we're heading directly towards this big mountainous sort of area and if you guys find these videos helpful please do drop a like on them because it really helps the channel so once you arrive you're going to want to just wait for your stamina to regenerate for a little bit and you'll see this big wooden fortress load in in front of you once you make it out of the shroud just come up the hill here and this is the scavengers hill fall now you want to run round to the left specifically because that's the best way to enter. There's actually like a secret entrance underground if you just keep running to the north side. This is the main entrance. Don't go in there. Instead, we're going to come down the side here to the left, and there's like a little mineshaft entrance just over here, which we can actually go inside. But now I'm going to swap over to my weaker character to show you how this is done at level 4. Now, if you're doing this with a melee character, I'd recommend getting my sword Hail Scourge from the link below. Now, before we go in, you want to be eating some wolf meat for that extra plus 2 constitution to increase your health bar. Also, bring some berries for health regeneration. And you can even use Flask of the Fell for additional stamina or the Elixir for plus 30% damage. So now we're going to head on inside this secret entrance. I'm going to get my sword out as well. In fact, let's get our torch out because it's quite dark down here. I'm going to use my rappel rope to get upstairs. And then we're going to need an axe to get through this wall. Ah! And now we're going to go ahead and enter sneak mode with our sword. Just going to have a quick look around because there's usually two enemies patrolling here. But they're both pretty far away by the looks of it. See, there's the guy with the bow, which we'll probably take out in a minute. But we can open this with a lockpick. Now, lockpicks are crafted with scrap metal. And if you need scrap metal, there's tons of it around here. If you just go ahead and search right here, the torn cloth. And you can also read this note. We've been captive for three days now. Weeks struggling with no food or water. And this explains the law of the Gorgia. The scavenger queens who've grown fat with gluttony are turning the dark laboratory in this encampment on themselves by infusing massive amounts of elixir straight into their hearts. The Gorgias will spit poison and lob vials of corrupted elixir at their prey. Avoid them at all costs. Consider yourself warned. So now we're just going to sneak on through. Now there should be some enemies patrolling around here. You can avoid them by sneaking though. So I recommend doing that. But here he comes. And he's actually spotted me. So we can probably fight him in this corner just here. Without getting any more attention. Parry him. Uh, until he's stunned. And then we can just go to town on him like this. Get Rex on. Easy. And if you also loot them, you're going to get loads of metal scrap, which is really useful for crafting metal scrap arrows. And if you're an archer, you're going to need it for this boss. Let's walk up here and then crouch, because this is where the boss is. You can see her just there, the gluttonous lass. I don't know why she's lost a quarter of her health, but um, I'll show you how you can easily beat her. This area behind you just here, this is the area you're basically going to run back to. But make sure you take out this archer because he's going to be very annoying if you don't. So I'm just going to headshot him to death. We've got 99 scrap arrows left. Now what you can do to initiate this fight is shoot the explosive barrel right here to blow her up. She can even get trapped in the hole if you use explosive power balls to like make a deep hole underneath her. But what we're going to do just to show you this can be done is we're just going to run in here. 
And we're going to be like, hello there. She's about to get triggered and throw some stuff at us. But if you keep running around really close to her, she actually can't hit you with anything. So I just want to, like, demonstrate that. The biggest attack you've got to w watch out for is that ability. Because it will poison you if it hits you on the floor. And you will need to dodge roll if you are far away when she throws those flasks. But if you actually are close to her, I mean, you can just run around her in circles and she's just like, what's happening? I, I can't, I can't see you. And then you can just, you know, go ham. And melee damage is actually super effective against her. You can see I'm not doing a lot of damage to her though when I do that. So we're going to walk away here. We're going to come back to this area. And now I'm going to start shooting her with range attacks. Now you want to shoot her in the belly. If you shoot her in the head, it's the only protected area. So look, watch this. I'm going to shoot her in the head. 11 damage. It does a lot less damage. I'm getting shot by one of the archers. So it can be better to actually kill the archers before you start this boss properly. You see she's coming all the way for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll towards her. Oh, she hit me there. My bad. This is why I brought some health potions though, just in case. I can also use um, honey for the extra stamina regeneration too. So that's nice. But yeah, let me show you what I mean by like trapping her in the middle here. We just want to make her walk towards the center. Dodge all the flasks. I think I get iframes there. I don't actually know. We're going to have to get her to come much closer than that. There we go. Now she's in the middle. Fire that open. And you can sometimes get her to get trapped. If you use... Um... Oh, you see? She hit me with a bomb. Killed me in one hit. But I just wanted to demonstrate the boss for you. And hopefully I've done that. So now we'll run back inside. And this time we'll obviously kill her. Now, most of the, the AI mobs we killed, they're going to be dead still. So makes our life a bit easier. And also that explosive you can see is still there. So what I could do is actually throw this right in front of me to try and trap her in it. You see, now she's actually trapped down there, like so. And this is like the cheese method. She can't get out of there. She's stuck. We've thrown enough in there that she's pretty deep inside. But yeah, essentially what you can do is just sit back here and shoot her like this. Get wrecked. Oh, critical damage too. Very nice from our armor set which is the marksman armor set it's super effective you can grab it from the link below if you're interested by the way be careful when she dies because she does explode so do take care so let's go ahead and search her body and now we got these scavengers matron's head she is less fearsome when headless the acrid scent lingers however <laughs> And then we got a bronze sword level 7. It's just going to be a level 7 epic item. Basically the same thing that's probably going to be in her chest. Level 7, Hunter's Bow. Now if you're struggling and you need a better weapon, one thing you can do is just run into this place. Come all the way through, smash down the door again, and then go ahead and lockpick this chest quickly. And then run upstairs. This is the, this is the most important part. Run all the way upstairs, run past the boss... And then, in this golden chest, just go ahead and loot it. Well, there we go. Legendary two-handed mace. Then press escape and go to return to main menu. And then just go ahead and play. Go back to private server. Play again. And you spawn back at your flame shrine, which is outside. And you just do the exact same thing again repeatedly until you pick up some legendary powerful weapons that fit your character build. Oh, we got a legendary ring from the silver chest there. Now we're going to run upstairs and then just go ahead and loot the chest again. We got another legendary mace, two in a row. And you can do that repeatedly until you get legendary items. So now we've got the scavenger matron's head. We can come back and commune with the flame and go to strengthen the flame. And now we're going to upgrade our flame altar from level two to level three. And to do that, we need 10 wax, 10 salt, five sparks which you can find at the flame shrines I showed you earlier. Shroudwood, Flintstone, Charcoal, and obviously the Scavenger Matron's Head. If you don't know where to get any of these ingredients, there are guides down below on our wiki pages. So you can just click on the page and it will tell you how to get it. But now we can upgrade our flame. And next we're going to need to upgrade to level 4, which requires us to kill, you guessed it, another boss. And to do that, we actually have to come all the way to the Revelwood, which is in the north of the map. I'll see you there.